Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, I will be discussing about some of the test cases which we can write for Facebook account. What are the test cases which we can create for creating an Facebook account? After creating an account, how can we log in? So what are the various test cases it may require to create for login functionality? And as well as in case if we forgotten the password, what are the test cases which we can write to test that forgot functionality? So these are the three important uh, scenarios which I will be covering in this video. The new Facebook uh, creation account form will look like something like this. So we'll have a forms with the text field, first name, then we have surname, then we have mobile number or email number, password, we have date of birth and agenda. These are the core fields available in this sign up page or also you can call it as a create new account page. So what are the various test cases you can write for the first field which is first name. The first name we should verify first we should ensure that the first name is a very much a mandatory field this field can take alpha numeric value that is the first validations you need to make the second validation which you need to make for surname again surname also it's a mandatory field surname can also take the value of alpha numeric the third one is the mobile number validation let's say if end user gives input as a mobile number then what are the validation you should make the mobile number can only take the numeric valid and also it can only take valid numbers only only 10 digit numbers can take it maybe it is associated with the country only can take the mobile number and what are the various boundary conditions you can test let's say the mobile number if i give eight digit seven digit zero eleventh digit how it should behave if i give different characters apart from mobile number how it should behave all those validation you should make it for mobile number then the third validation is in case if user gives an email address for creating a new account then you should validate the email id as well we should validate all the valid and invalid email addresses and the fourth one is you should validate for the password field what are the validations you should make what are the validations you should not make again it is based on the requirements defined for your project if the given requirements are not clear what to validate and what not to validate then definitely you should ask the question and get it clarified do not assume in general what are the things i can write all those things do not assume if you have any specific question and if there is any specific guidelines for a new password field in your organization then appropriate validation you should make do not make it as a generic anywhere for anything and the fifth one is date of birth field so i already made another video what are the different uh, types of test cases which we can write for date of birth field which you can refer that video i will provide that video in the description then the sixth one is gender it is a it is a radio button for this gender field the gender can be a female it can be male or anything it can be customizable then you, you should click the sign up button when you click on the sign up button if all the mandatory values are filled then you should be able to create the new facebook account otherwise you should throw the appropriate error messages so let's say once you are able to create an account in the facebook the next option will be able to log in with those credentials with your username or with your email address or a phone number along with your password whatever you have given earlier with those passwords you should be able to log in into the facebook so that is where you should validate by entering both registered mobile number plus unregistered mobile number as well if, if i am giving invalid address along with the right password that time also you should give error message mobile number or unregistered email addresses you should not accept for the login you should throw an appropriate error messages saying it is a invalid email address or an invalid password or if this account does not exist again the passwords also whatever that password which you created earlier only provided here yeah. apart from that you should not allow any other password for the validation. All the appropriate validations and error messages should pop up when you click on the login button here. If I know only email address and phone number, if I have forgotten the password, then you should click 
forgot password. Then when you click on forgot password, what are the test cases which we can write? What are the various test cases which we can write for forgot password? So here only one field is available for forgot password that is finding your account via your email address or with your mobile number. This is only option which is available for you. Here you should give the appropriate email address or phone number. Then what are the test cases which you can provide here? One is a mobile number with a registered mobile number or unregistered mobile number. If you put a registered mobile number, then you should get a appropriate next page. If you put an unregistered mobile number, then you should get an error message saying that this number is not registered with the Facebook. Similarly, for email address also, you should try with both registered and unregistered email addresses. If the existing mobile number or email address entered in this, click on search button, then search should be successful. Otherwise, you should get an error message saying that this mobile number or email address which is invalid, Facebook is not able to find the account. In case, let's say whatever the email address or whatever the phone number which you enter is correct, then you should get a next page which is reset your password page where you should get an option of two things. One is you should be able to reset your password using your uh, Google account or you should get an uh, password code via email which you already registered in the Facebook. So these are the various test scenarios or test cases which you should write for Pargat password. If you guys really like this video then please give a thumbs up to this video. If you guys are not subscribed then do subscribe. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now. Take care.